fill out the following table. We have uh, three forms for quadratic functions. Factor the four. Y equals AX minus X1 times X minus X2. For factor the four, the roots will be X equals X1 and X2. X is uh, of a symmetry. Is uh, X equals H. Vertex is HK. Then X equals H is the axis of a symmetry. This is X1, X2. You could say X equals H is the perpendicular bisector of X1, X2. So, axis of a symmetry will be x equals h equals x1 plus x2 over 2. Vertex. We know h equals x1 plus x2 over 2. So, x1 plus x2 over 2 is h. K is the f of x1 plus x2 over 2. Under the 4, the roots, we can use the quadratic formula. x equals negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a. x is a symmetry will be x equals negative b over 2a. So, Vertex will be negative b over 2a and f of negative b over 2a. Remember, k always equals f of h. For vertex 4, how to find the roots? We will set up a times x minus h squared plus k equals 0. Solve for x minus k both sides. A times x minus h squared equals negative k. Then divided by a both sides. We will get x minus h squared equals negative k over a. Then square root both sides x minus h equals, don't forget, plus or minus square root, negative k over a. Then x equals h plus or minus square root, negative k over a. For axis of a symmetry, we know x equals h. And a vertex, it's uh, HK. When you try to figure out the uh, axis of a symmetry or vertex for vertex form, try to use a uh, transformation. Or remember, insider is a liar. Fill out the following table. Quadratic function y equals negative 2 times x minus 1 times x plus uh, 3. Roots. We will set up for x equals 1 equals 0 or x plus 3 equals 0. Then x equals 1 or negative 3. Axis of a symmetry. We know h equals x1 plus x2 over 2. So h equals 1 minus 3 over 2 equals negative 1. x equals negative 1 is the axis of a symmetry. Vertex. k hey equals f of h. h is negative 1. So negative 2 times negative 1 minus 1 times negative 1 plus 3 equals negative 2 times negative 2 times 2 equals negative 8.
So vertex will be negative 1, negative 8. Y equals negative x squared plus 2x minus 5. We will use a quadratic formula for the roots. A equals negative 1, B equals 2, and C equals negative 5. X equals negative B is negative 2 plus or minus square root. B squared is a 4 minus 4 times A is negative 1. C is negative 5 over 2A. 2 times negative 1. Simplify. Negative 2 plus or minus the square root 4. Negative negative is positive minus 20 over negative 2 equals negative 2 plus or minus square root negative 16 over negative 2. Negative 16 is a 4i. So we have negative 2 plus or minus 4i over negative 2. Reduce plus or minus 2i. Axis of a symmetry. H equals negative b over 2a. Negative b is negative 2. 2 times negative 1 equals 1. So x equals 1 is the axis of a symmetry. For vertex, a equals f of h is 1 equals negative 1 squared plus 2 times 1 minus 5 equals negative 4. So vertex will be 1 negative 4. For y equals 1 half x plus 4 squared minus 6, we will isolate x plus 4 squared first, 1 half x plus 4 squared minus 6 equals 0. Add 6 both sides. We will get 1 half x plus 4 squared equals 6 times 2 both sides. x plus 4 squared equals 12. Square root both sides. Square root of 12 equals, we will use 4, 9, 25, 49 as a factor. 4 times 3. Square root of 4 is 2 square root of 3. So we get x plus 4 equals plus or minus 2 square root of 4, 3. Minus 4, both sides. x equals negative 4 plus or minus 2 square root of 3 is the solution. For axis of symmetry, h will be opposite of a positive 4. Think about transformation. x plus 4 means uh, translate uh, to the left 4 units. So h equals uh, negative 4 x equals negative 4 is the axis of a symmetry. Vertex, negative 4, negative 6. For the transformation, minus 6 means uh, translate down 6 units. 